I'm distilling the antidote. All we need now is time. And with the bandits driven back, we can turn to the poison source. Someone deliberately poisoned our strongholds well. The sickness began the day of the bandits' first attack. It couldn't have been them, not directly. You should speak with Moramat, one of Chief Dushko's wives. She's tended the chief since he fell ill. You've shown you stand with the stronghold, and for that, you'll remain welcome. But if you wish to stop the poisoner, you'll need her approval, or the others won't help. You've proven yourself blood kith to our stronghold. If any here would call you outsider, you are welcome to answer with the back of your hand. Now, what is it you need? Yes, he convinced me there was never a curse. Know that while Chief Dushko remains ill, I speak on his behalf. I'm his hearth wife, and I say the poisoner must be brought to justice. The sickness happened before the first bandit attack. None are missing from the stronghold. The poisoner must be among us. Can't be any of the victims. There are unpleasant symptoms. Very unpleasant. Speak with the unafflicted. Find out where they were the night before the sickness began. Return to me with their tales, and we can find the lies within them. The hero. What do you want? It's shameful for the raiders to do such a thing. They must have dropped the poison in the well during one of their attacks. If you say so. It's been a blur. Can't even remember when I last slept. Checking and oiling weapons in the longhouse? Bad for the bandits when they attacked. Still didn't keep them from poisoning the well. survived because of your help. We won't forget this. I wish we were back in the mines, even with all those spiders. At least Moramad is safe in the longhouse. Getting battered by Sharnok. I always end up bruised, but I'm a better warrior for it. Sure half the village saw me getting knocked around. You can ask anyone. Nothing. I'm a horrible liar. Everybody knows it. Look, the chief got sick. We have a history, and I don't want Marama to think I poisoned him, all right? That'd be terrible. Is it that obvious? I mean, no, nothing like that. The chief and I disagreed over the mine's value, but we resolved things. We don't see eye to eye on trade matters, but I'm no traitor to the stronghold, and I'd never do anything to hurt Marama. Seems a week doesn't pass without a spider bite in the mines. It comes with the job. I suppose old bites and dizzy spells kept me safe from the poison. I don't know what else to say. Hello, Bloodkith. Heard you gutted some bandits in the attack. You mean the curse? Sure. I'll help any way I can. It's what I do. Most of our warriors are sick in their beds, or barely able to hold an axe. More bandits for me. Training with Nemorath near the front gate, he opens himself to counterattacks when he lunges. Knew it would hurt him eventually, but he survived the attack, so he'll remember next time. Or not, and he'll die. He should really try to remember. The curse couldn't poison me. Nothing can. When I find a new bug or beast, I don't just kill it. I eat it to gain its strength. Sometimes you, uh, pay for it. But you've never truly conquered something until you've buried it in the ground. Because bandits are dumb. They think an open gate is a weakness. So they all head for it. 
but we cut them down before they get inside. They could, but they don't. The ones with bows won't fire their arrows at us, so we stand here as bait for the ones without bows. Then they come, and we make them decorate the cobbles. Told you, bandits are dumb. The sound of a hammer on iron is a beautiful thing to hear, whether in battle or at the forge. But our mine produces tin. Can't keep a good rhythm with tin. Once the chief is back on his feet, I'll be the new forge wife. Then we'll see who gives the orders. Not that you care. Go ahead, ask me anything. Right here, stoking the forge while my apprentice ran errands for Maramat. Think she can take her away, make my work shoddier? <laughs> Besides, temperature changes can ruin the metal. I didn't have a choice. Short up defenses, repaired weapons and armor for the few warriors left standing. Haven't you heard the ring of my hammer? Used it on a few bandits, too. Bandit helmets can't take three hits. Clang, clang, crunch. Shoddy workmanship. If I'd wanted to sabotage the stronghold, I could have the walls topple or make shoddy blades that crumble in our warriors' hands. Yet the walls stand fast and our weapons strike true. Any other insults you care to toss at me? I have metal to work. Yes? What is it now? Let me see. Ah, that belongs to Rakaz, my apprentice. You can see where the hilt doesn't quite fit the blade. Wish I could say it was one of her first attempts, but she's a slow learner. What is it now? So? I needed some ore. Three spires came from nowhere, and I had to defend myself. I must have lost it in my rush to escape. It's a wonder I made it out of there alive. Fine, you got me. Are you satisfied? I did it for the town, and if you noticed, I made sure not to use too much, just like Gargak taught me. Gargak is the rightful chief of the stronghold. His brother is half the man and an utter fool. He won the trial by fighting dirty. I am simply trying to help set things right. Sorry to disappoint, but I don't plan to walk into my death. There's more to the brother's story than you've been told. Please don't rush into anything. Seek out Gargak and hear his side of the story before deciding what you believe. I don't think so. you found what has the fool girl done never mind that shaman bogum has almost finished his antidote once reeman's bluff recovers our warriors will find these bandits and crack open their skulls 
I must remain here and see my husband recovers. If you are willing, you should track down Gargag and put an end to his madness. We must stop Gargak at any cost.